All right, what's going on, folks? Another day to get out here and enjoy the outdoors, Mississippi. Got uh, <clears throat> something new I'm testing out today. Got another early Christmas gift. Tell you what's on my back here. We got the 280 XP280 backpack, and uh, it's so far I've, I've been on a pretty long hike. Let's see if I can get where you guys can see it. Um, 2.06 miles right now been 39 minutes uh, it's been great it's been great so we're gonna get it off here and uh, get it unpacked I've got uh, I don't know if you're familiar with these XP packs but I thought excuse me there I thought that I wanted the 240 and uh, well my wife mistakenly ordered me the 280 and uh, so I'm gonna flip you guys around may put the GoPro on my chesty we're gonna get this stuff out. I've actually got two detectors, my pin pointer. I've got my uh, Predator, uh, Predator Spartan digging tool right there. So I got everything I need. Finds pouts attached to the side. So we'll flip y'all around. We're gonna get everything out and we're gonna check this spot out. Uh, we're looking for an iron patch. Hadn't been back in here before. Good area, lots of troop movement. And there was a skirmish in this area somewhere. I've, you know, I found a, dry, a fire bullet here, there. Uh, actually, I'm a good ways from anywhere that I've detected before, but um, let's see what we got. Y'all stick, stick with us. All right, so there is the XP280 backpack. Let's see, I've been on about a two mile hike right here. Go and stop that. The one thing I did forget was a bottle of water right there kind of wishing i hadn't forgotten it now but you see you got this uh little bungees to attach your digging tool so we've actually got two complete detectors in here i've got both of the remotes in in here uh this one's actually big enough to put your cell phone in but uh we'll get that out i may i don't may or may not run this on the stem i don't know we'll see uh, let's get in this one so we've got the uh, 11 inch coil right there on the stem 9 inch coil on the stem uh, let's see we'll, let's run the 11 I have to swap that RC over but that ain't a problem I haven't paired uh, both coils to either of my remotes. So, all right. So, got my Quest headphones right there. So, we'll need to swap that hook out. Here's the main stem. I got backup. WS6s with that aggravating pair of headphones right there. <laughs> I don't know. I guess they're okay. It's just it don't do well with me with the glasses. Let's get that swapped over. But it's, you know, being able to carry two machines when you're this far from your vehicle and, you know, it's muddy and you can't really get back where you need to get to in your vehicle. Or you don't have a four-wheel drive vehicle you know, this is i can see this is going to be very handy so we'll get everything ready to go here get that clipped on All right. put our lower on here get turned the right way Runner back right there. We may try it at first without the. Uh... Now I'll just go ahead and put the remote on there. It won't take but just a second. Oh, I gotta swap that. That's right. So we'll swap it out with this one. Then we should be all paired up when we turn it on. I know, you know, a lot of you may not have 
two entire full machines to deal with but uh fortunate in that that i do so let's power on see what we got we'll see how it does with the, i'm up underneath some power lines here let's go with the headphones they are on we're in general program switch to my relic program i'm gonna throw this backpack back on my back because i got my fines pouch and my cleaning brush and everything that i need right there it actually wears really really well i thought it was going to be too big and that's why i wanted to go with the 240 versus 280 but then when i got it i got to looking and the, the 280s only a half inch larger it's just got a lot more capacity so the actual size i don't think is much bigger so uh not gonna swing around here with you guys very long but uh so i've never been up here before this may be clean as a whistle i have no idea so we'll just kind of wander around here a little bit see if we trip over something and if i do you guys will see it y'all stick with us all right we deep hc i got a 97 98 87 88 one way of a can let's put that in the trash pouch here keep moving i right, got a 83 84 so there used to be the old road went through here so it's probably some more trash and i mean it's been farm ground for years so bush twist on I right, got a 59 57 59 probably shotgun head stamp deeper or I missed it one yeah, I think I see it there in the world It is the end of an extension cord. I'll be dull. Ain't that something? Pretty sure that's it. Yep, that's it. First time I ever found one of those. All right, folks, I popped this out before I got y'all out. And uh, on a, a different spot today aerial photograph showing a couple of structures here in 1963 and uh, I popped this hole and you can see there's a part of a mason jar lid but that was not my signal my signal was this thing and I don't know what it is yet but it's a uh, it's a square plate I don't want to straighten on it too much just yet it's definitely got some type of design on it I see flowers and branches and uh, got mud stuck in the back of it maybe some type of brooch or something yeah I see attachment points there's some holes through it so yeah, pretty neat little decorative piece Pretty neat little decorative piece. So let's uh, let's keep moving. I don't see any text or anything on it, so it'd be kind of hard to identify. It looks, you know, 1920s ish. Uh, even looks like there may have been a, a lid to something. I see an attachment point back there or something. So anyway, moving on. All right, so this one's a little different. I'm getting 90 one way. Get y'all some volume here. Eighty-eight, ninety. Broken ninety-three the other way. Eighty-eight, 
There ought to be some silver in here if, it's, if it was folks hanging out back here in 1960 something, shouldn't it? That's what I'm thinking. Let's see if we can find that thing with this pin pour. something there let us see in this deep Still getting it in the hole. We got a target right there. My faults and off to the side. I don't think so. I mean, General's hitting it right there too. We own to something. There it is. Don't know what it is, but there it is. Piece of copper plate. Did y'all see how deep that was? Brass or something. <laughs> that was way down there. The old day has picked her out. Yeah, I got another one that's settling in on 88 right there. 85 this way, 86. So anytime you're looking for these old home sites see those what we call horse apples Osage orange tree it's a good sign they'd uh they'd use the wood off of those things for handles and stuff hoe handles and all that uh, 83 after we flipped her out We got some junk aluminum. Got some text on it.
Yeah, I'll get some water on it and we'll see what it says. Looks like Jackson something by the Martin something. Yeah, you know, water. It's got holes in it like you water a flower. With. All right, this kind of tone we're looking for right here. 88. clean both directions tone we're looking for just not what we're looking for what in the world is this old oh, old can it looks like Emma Co. Yep. A big old canyon. Alright, so we got in here in the heart of these trees. You can see bricks. Okay. There's targets everywhere. I'm running fast. I switched over to fast once I got in here. Because it's just stuff everywhere. Let me get the you know she'll be able to hear that I hope. But I got a 95. 93 probably a big sausage can or something or another big oil can might be a silver coin though yep, there it is whatever it is I don't know sure sounds good though Yeah, we'll get some water on it, brush on it. Looks like some kind of a key or something. So, yeah, right, getting dark on me. Got a solid 80, 79, 80 right here. Get it out. I think I see it. I think I broke it. It was a spoon. Sure was. a spoon and I broke it oh well keep moving hey y'all all right well if you made it all the way to the end of this video I appreciate you sticking with me uh, I, you know I made a comment in my the last video that I posted that I probably wasn't going to or didn't plan to monetize my channel and Oddly enough, since then, my views have dropped way off. Like YouTube has stopped uh, promoting any of my videos or anything like that. So anyway, thanks thanks y'all for sticking with me. And, uh, and we didn't find a whole lot in this video, you know, a bunch of junk. But uh, it's like that sometimes, you know, you got to go check those spots out. But uh, y'all see what I got behind me back here. There's some antifreeze. I'm fixing to take the old camper right here and... Uh, winterize it and uh we've got some cold temps coming here in the next couple of days actually in two days from now everybody always says if you, if you don't like the my watch is trying to talk to me uh if you don't like the weather around here just stick around a couple of days and, and it'll change for you so that's definitely true it's uh i don't know 50 something degrees right now something like that it, it's not bad at all but uh in two days the high is 50 and the low is two and then the day after that we're getting uh highs in the teens so we got to get a little antifreeze in this guy right here so we don't uh end up with some frozen pipes when we get ready to go camping next year so like i say appreciate y'all watching we didn't find a whole lot but it's like that sometimes and uh hey you never know next video we might find some good stuff appreciate y'all